Hi and welcome back to your processing video tutorials. We've come to the conclusion that we need to be able to change dx and dy. In order to do this, we have to create a new method that will let us set the value of dx and dy. Another option would be to set these variables to public and then we would be able to use them as normal values. However, I do not recommend this, and most people don't recommend this, because if we start setting variables as public, then potentially we can run into problems where we change variables that we're not meant to be changing. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a couple methods to be able to change dx and dy. So set dy and public void set dx. Now, how do we change the value of dy here? Obviously, we have to do dy equals something. And in dx, we have to do dx equals something. But what is this something here? We are going to call set dy from this other file. We're going to say at some point, sorry about that, ball set dy. And we need to give dy a value. We need to give D, set dy the value that dy is going to take. And the way we do that is we put here between the brackets what value we're going to accept. So here I'm going to put that we're going to accept a value that is going to be of type integer. And the name of this value we're going to be accepting is going to be called dy. But it is going to be called dy only inside these two curly braces. Let me explain what I mean. If I do dy equals dy, how does the computer know what I mean? Do I mean this dy or do I mean this dy? And it's funny because this is the key uh, in this instance. Um, so that would be the correct way to do it. And let me explain why. We get a value inside our brackets, which we call dy. So dy now means this value that we get between the brackets. This dot dy means get the value from here and see if there's one called dy. And then there is. So this dot dy is the balls dy value. So not the methods dy value, but rather the whole class. And in case you're confused, we can set dy to be 10 by simply putting the number in between the brackets. And now this 10 value magically appears inside this dy variable. And then this is 10. This dot dy means this dy value here. So this dy value here now equals 10, which is what we got from between the brackets. So it may be a wee bit confusing, but do not worry if we run. Sorry, I'm going to need to do that temporarily just so it doesn't break. We'll see the ball now disappears a bit faster. And if we go here and we set it to 20, we'll see it disappear even faster. So we are effectively changing the dy value of our ball. So what about set dx? Well, the same thing applies, really. In dx... And then this dot dx, sorry about that, equals dx. And now, if we were to call set dx, we could change the dx value of our ball. And we'll see it move to the right now as well. But now I, I hear you asking, does it have to be called dy? This is utterly confusing to me. 
And the truth is no, it doesn't have to be called dy. You could call it a new dy value. And then you would simply put that there, and then you wouldn't need this. Because the computer would know dy obviously means this one, because it's the only one that exists. And a new dy value means this one, because that's the only one that exists too. However, it is easier for me at least to read this, because then I know this dot dy means the object property. dy means the method value. And whenever I see this keyword, I know I'm modifying something to do with these properties up here. And that helps me. If you want to name this differently, then by all means, go ahead. Many people uh, call it new dy or something like that. And, and feel free to do that. Um, that is not a problem at all. Whatever helps you, you can do that. I like to do it this way. Most people like to do it this way as well. Um, so that's why I'm teaching you this way. Okay. So now we've got a way to change dy and dx. And now we need to find a way to make the ball bounce. And in order to make it bounce, we are going to need to be able to see where the ball is. We're going to look at that in the very next video. So I'll see you there.